Hey there, Deep Slate Lock here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore series. And this is episode 6. In the last episode, we didn't build this. Instead, I recorded it and failed to record. Basically, I built part of the roof, and I am building the roof out of these oxidized copper blocks by simply sitting here and waiting for these blocks to oxidize, which is not very inefficient. Wait, that's it's opposite of in. I mean, it's inefficient, not opposite of inefficient, which would be efficient. It is very inefficient because it takes between 50 and 80 Minecraft days for one of these blocks to oxidize. So instead of sitting here and waiting for them to oxidize, I am going to go down into the mines and mine even more, because that's what I've been doing for this entire series so far. By the way, if anybody is wondering, currently I am on day 42 on this Minecraft world. I just thought that was pretty interesting. The days fly by, I would have guessed I was around day 20 or day 30, but nope, day 42. Since I have quite a bit of iron. I'm going to be making quite a few iron pickaxes as well to upgrade my mining experience because my mining experience has not been using iron pickaxes. It's been using stone pickaxes, which is horribly slowed down in the mines where the deep slate is. But iron is really fast compared to stone. Well, okay, it's not that much faster, but it is definitely an improvement. In today's episode of Lock.2 Mines Underground, I'm going to be mining down at diamond level or negative 50... What is the elevation here? Negative 54 blocks in elevation. I think this might just be the first time I have found iron all the way down at negative 54 blocks in elevation. I found a cave, and it is a 1.18 underground cave. Well, okay, what other cave is a cave that isn't underground? That's that's a question I should ask, but no, I found a cave is what I'm trying to say. I think it's time to go in here. Mm, oh my, skelly and zombie, oh dear. Oh, skeleton fight, nice. Go away. Ah, I don't like this. It's hardcore mode. Are we safe? We're, sa we're safe. Yay. Ooh, there is a bunch of this here. I do not want to stand on this while breaking any blocks. So we got a big fight coming up here. Boom. Oh, I missed. Boom. I said boom. Boom. And a boom. Nice. I'm going to block off the ways that I know there is nothing. And for example, that way, I know there's nothing. So I'm going to block it off. Ooh, diamonds. Oh dear. Can I get through here, please? Go away. Well, we found another uh, spawner. Nice. Not that I need a spawner. Oh, there we go. We got some goodies in here. Let's grab these diamonds. So, there's one diamond down here in the caves. Oh, we got the diamond achievement, even though we've gotten diamonds several times by now. But, you know, we got the diamond achievement. This is our quote-unquote first time getting diamonds. Ooh, gold. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and block that off now, because I've already been down there, and now I'll go down here and see what is down here, if there's anything down here. I would like to find some diamonds, but no, there is no diamonds down here. Ooh, there's a big cave over here, so that's, that's, that's questionably good, and that's questionably bad at the same time, but, you know, it's fine, it's a big cave. Ooh, diamonds? Nice. There's lava down here, so I might as well check this lava out as well. Maybe there might be something of use down here. May probably not, but we might as well look just to make sure. Ooh, it's a big cave. Yikes, my inventory is getting really full. Oh, wait, we've already been down here, haven't we been? But in total, we got five diamonds, and with the five diamonds, I am not going to be using them for a helmet or boots. Instead, I'm going to be using the five diamonds to make a pickaxe and a enchantment table. I need to go and mine one, two, three, four obsidian, leather, and fire. Uh, there's only three cows. I think I should bring them home, actually. I wonder where I have some hay, because if I can get some hay, I can bring them back with the hay. Oh, wait, no, it's not hay. It's a wheat. Well, I mean, I guess this is the same thing, or, or is it the same thing? Is hay the same thing as wheat? Wait, let me Google it. I have no idea what the difference between hay and wheat is. When I search it up, it tells me the difference between straw and hay, but it doesn't say the difference difference between hay and wheat. Uh, maybe, like, wheat is a seed or something, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, oh, I already have wheat, and I don't even have to grow any, which is quite nice, because I do not want to have to go and grow some wheat right now, but I will plant some extra wheat seeds right now. Anyway, the reason why is because if I ever need wheat in the future, which for a fact I will need wheat in the future, I want to be able to have some wheat. Ooh, that is a huge cave right there. I am not going to explore that, but that is still a huge cave. How big is this cave? I need to see. 
and I also need to not fall into it. Oh yeah, I do. I definitely do not want to fall into that. <laughs> let's not fall. Uh, for that, I cannot speak. Let's not fall into that, and let's go the opposite direction at that huge hole in the ground. Hello, gals. Follow me. You can do this. Why aren't you coming up here? But once I make it to the top of the hill, this will probably go smoother. Oh, no, let's not fall in that hole. I almost just fell in it. <laughs> Come this way. You're almost there. You just have to make it over this barrier. And you've made it to the destination. Also, like I said, I do need to make a wheat farm. One day I might try to add some carrots into this as well. But besides that, there, I've gotten a wheat farm. Now I just have to wait for the wheat to grow for the wheat farm. I've just noticed something while I was running up and down this mine shaft, and that is normally you cannot run when you're touching walls. Though for some reason I'm able to run and touch this wall. I don't know why. Is it like something that happened in an update? Because I am pretty sure I couldn't run if I'm running against a wall in any older versions. I am going to try my absolute best to AFK in the world because I gotta do something, and also I want to try to AFK so. So the wheat grows it's now day 53 so there should be some stuff growing up here so hopefully I have a full field of wheat and I can give the wheat to the cows so the cows don't get too hungry and it looks like all of the copper well maybe not all of it but most of the copper is turned into the new copper that I need which is that one the wheat field is now a wheat field full of wheat which is better than a wheat field not full of wheat and instead full of seeds now with this 52 wheat I can give these sheep, not sheep, chickens, not chickens, endermen, no, what are these called? Oh dear, Ax not axolotls, carrot, yes, you're a carrot, okay, yes, you mooing creature, you are a carrot, these gl- let's just give these things wheat, okay? I don't know what they are, these are unknown creatures in the world, but they're something. Oh, there we go, in the subtitles, it's cow moo, okay, that's what it is, it's a cow, it's not a sheep or a carrot. These blocks have a really interesting sound when they break, I want you to hear it. Yeah, the sound of these blocks breaking is quite interesting, but one way or another, that gives me 43 oxidized copper, which should give me roughly 43 non-oxidized copper and turn them into oxidized copper stairs or something. And then I can start building the roof. This is the hardest to build roof I have ever built in Minecraft. Yes, I've built a lot of roofs in this game, and this is the hardest. Oh, it's thunder and nice. I don't really care for thunderstorms in this game, but you know, it, it is thundering. Oh, and that means it's nighttime, actually. Uh, mm, I, yeah, I'm done up here. Let's go downstairs and hide my bunker because it is night time. Stuff can spawn, including creepers, zombies, endermen, and you name it, it can spawn. Oh, wow, this is a big thunderstorm. There's a skelly. We need to go. And block that off. Nice. We are safely in our bunker. Let's wait this thunderstorm out. The thunder is now done, and it should be somewhat safe to run around out here, which is awesome. So we can get back to building this roof. I don't normally do do that much when it comes to trying to build a roof, but I'm trying to make this roof look different and special in a way. And I think I am successfully making it look different. The sun's disappearing. Goodbye, son. Oh, we got a skelly and a zombie. Either way, I've got a few more stacks of these blocks. So I do want to get fortune before I go out to try to find more copper. The reason why I want to get fortune is because fortune should go over and give me more copper than just going over and mining copper without fortune. We had a villager come over and check out our house, and it immediately ran away. Where did the villager go? I'm trying to show you the villager that was over here, and it just seems to completely have disappeared. Did it, like, fall off the cliff or something? Because there was a villager over here. I swear. Where did it go? Villager, are you okay? Where? This is weird. There's literally a villager right here. I should probably try to keep the villagers inside of their houses at night. The reason why is because we do not need villagers having any words of zombie issues. Zombie? Oh dear. <laughs> Run! Zombie! Oh dear. We're fine. I need to block the villagers up in the house someday though because, well, it's uh, not very safe for them, especially since it's hardcore mode. Seems there's only two villagers left in this village, which also is not very ideal because, well, there needs to be more villagers 
villagers than just two. Villager, where are you? I need to go and put you in a house or something. Why are you at the end of this cliff right here? Good. Stay there. With this paper, I can make one book. And with this one book, I can make a enchanting table. And with this enchanting table, I can place it down somewhere. Um, let's just place it downstairs somewhere. So, if I place down the enchanting table right here, that will mean I can go and put books on the sides here, on the sides there, and also on the sides over here. And then I can go and enchant my pickaxes or whatever else I have inside of here. Why is it not giving me a middle enchantment for my pickaxe? It's giving me a one level level enchantment and a three level enchantment but not a two level enchantment well where's number two either way i have run out of time for today's episode thank you very much for watching and i will catch you again tomorrow